just now, someone in Albuquerque became a burglary victim and in about an hour. It'll happen again. Property crime is a big problem in the city. That's why APD says it is such a big deal. They got more than a dozen theft and burglary suspects off the streets. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Ana Velasquez is live for us with more on the bus and video you won't see anywhere else. That's right. Good evening, Doug and Shelley. You know, every month APD releases the faces of their most wanted property crime offenders so that you can help keep an eye out for them. But, you know, police have been aggressively going after the suspects lately. And just last week, they arrested 14 of them, and that's more than the usual. Only Action 7 News was there when police caught Joseph Cortez. Investigators say he's one of the city's most wanted property crime offenders and a notorious copper thief. He's someone that uh, has been tormenting Albuquerque. Cortez's arrest is just one of many in recent days. Albuquerque Police's organized crime unit took down a suspected credit and debit card skimming ring. They arrested five people, including a former waiter at Flames Burgers in the Northeast Heights, accused of stealing money from hungry diners. Within a one month time period, they, they, they actually took over $15,000. In another case, APD recovered stolen flat screen TVs lifted from hotel rooms. They say Tony Britton and Tim Romero busted into dozens of rooms, some of which were occupied at the time. Then there's a case of an alleged house sitting thief. You can't even describe it to people. It's, it, my heart sang. Local artist Issa Naj hired Michael Lucero to watch his home while Aj was out of town for five days. Instead, police say Lucero cleaned out his historic Southwest Indian jewelry collection worth about $56,000 and pawned it off. Lucero was arrested and about half of the jewelry has been recovered, but the ones you see here are still missing and very rare. I thought I knew him. I, obviously, I didn't. Now, according to Albuquerque Police's Uniform Crime Report for 2013, one burglary happens every 72 minutes here in the city, and that property crimes were steadily on the rise from 2010 to 2013. Reporting live from downtown Albuquerque tonight, I'm Ana Velasquez, KYT Action 7 News.